Hey what's up guys this is Nayashik from blogtube.com and today in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful blog or news website using WordPress and extra theme. And let me tell you one thing extra theme is created by the creator of DV theme. So basically you have all the features over here which are present in the DV theme plus this theme the extra theme is specialized for blog. So this is just an amazing theme. So let's see the website which we'll be creating in this particular video. So as you can see on your screen this is the website which we'll be making in this particular video. At the top you have this trending section all the blogs all the posts that are trending will be shown over here. Then we have some social icons over here, a search button. Then we have our logo over here. And this is the header, the menu section. You can increase or decrease the size of this section. You can increase the or decrease the size of this icon and size of this logo and so on, obviously. Okay, now let me show you one beautiful thing. As you can see, this is a mega menu, a very beautiful mega menu. And this is also a mega menu. It has three sections. All the three are blog. And here we have three sections to our blog and third one is a list. And as you can see, there is a very thin line, a purple line over here. And when we come over here, this line changes, the color changes. So basically we are using a very beautiful theme or very colorful theme. We can change and control the color according to our needs. And when someone sees this beautiful mega menus, they think, man, you have to do a lot of coding and so on for the, uh, for that but the, uh, that is not the thing guys believe me there is just a single box you tick mark on that box and you have this thing you don't have to do anything whatsoever and before proceeding let me tell you one thing if you see in the uh, video description below you will see an index you know you'll have the timing and the title for example if you don't want to see the demo website which you have which i have created and you just want to go to the uh, host hosting section where we'll be purchasing the domain name and hosting then you can just click on that timing and you will be redirected to that one and if you don't want to see that thing also you just want just want to uh, start from where we uh, install wordpress then you will see that section also you can click on that timing and you will be redirected to the uh, in this video you will be you will go to that timing where we'll start creating the website so you can check the description below that will be really helpful but i would personally suggest you to watch the complete tutorial don't miss out if you can if if you don't have time to watch you know two hours three hours tutorial then what you can do you can watch something today and uh, leftover portion tomorrow and this kind of thing but i would uh, personally recommend you to watch the complete tutorial that would really help you okay now here is a slider a very beautiful post slider if you see you know we have different post uh, title author date you know all this category and so on and here also again let me tell you you don't have to do any coding you don't even have to create a slider there is a module there's something called module over here and there is a post slider module that is automatically present you just have to add that and that is really simple now uh, after a few minutes i'll uh, show you how easy to create this kind of website okay now when we scroll down we have two different sections and the, here there are two different categories for example this section contains all the fashion category and this section contains all the email marketing category and as you can see again the color for both the section are different we can we have all the control on this color we can change the color according to our need obviously then when we scroll down we see this section a post carousel section as you can see a very very beautiful section again and very useful also and this is again the same section which we saw here but here as you can see there are only two things over here there are only two columns and here we have three columns so basically we can have one column two column three column five column anything we want and doing that is really easy stay tuned so that you can see how easy it is okay then at the end we have put this tab section as you can see they are different at present it is on the fashion category now when we click on this it goes to the email marketing category and you see all the posts related to email marketing and also you can see the, the color also changes at present it is purple color and when we click on seo it becomes orange so this is just amazing and this is the sidebar as you can see at the top a very important thing which is a search bar then we have this recent post with thumbnail and extra informations then we have this follow us uh, uh, buttons over here recent tweets i'll show you how to you know configure this thing 
then we have different authors so basically i'll show you how you can add different authors you can invite other people to write for your website or to write for your blog and that is very important okay then we have recent reviews as you can see over here there are three different reviews and we also have a recent video when you click on this video it starts playing okay as you can see over here it is video my own video yes okay so this is uh, how it is okay now let's see how different post would look like the most important thing how your blog would look like okay so let's see that for example this is a blog family fun with pasta so this is basically the title we have this author date uh, category and so on this is the featured image then we have this uh, a section and when we when i scroll down make sure you see the animation because there is a lot of animation uh, used in this particular website okay then there is a single column over here then we can divide this into two different columns as you can see and as you can see there is an animation and this looks really beautiful you know there are two different images over here okay then again you can see the animation okay uh, you have an image you have this uh, text over here you have some text some title separators uh, subtitle at the top and similarly when i scroll down this is how you can see the beauty of this particular blog and as you can see this is a parallax effect over here and we have divided this also into two different sections and this one has a dark background color and we have a light text or that and also a call to action button and believe me guys these are post you would have seen post but they are basically the blogs and post looks like just text so, you know some text and few images but here as you can see we have made this thing so beautiful and i'll show you how to do all these things we can also you know put this circle counter over here as you can see we can do a lot of things okay now we can put these things also this fact question you know you when you click on this it maximizes question it answers the thing over here and we can give this rating this review okay and at the bottom someone can even reply by typing their comment over here and clicking on this simple post comment button and let me show you how easy it is to create or to ch make changes in this particular website to do so you just have to click on this button which says enable visual builder okay now let's make some changes over here okay so let's scroll down and suppose you want to make this change you can you want to change this text so what you can do just select this thing and change the text to whatever you want okay as you can see anything it is that simple okay you can also change this. you want to delete this portion so just select this click on this delete button it is deleted and you say man there is a lot of gap over here or there is a very small gap so what you can do just try drag this with Thing to the bottom and you have a lot of space over here and you say i want to change this image okay so just hover this image you have this gear i can click on that you know select this image select any one of the image you want for example let's select this one click on upload an image click on this plus and you will see the changes over here as you can see the image changed so it is that easy my friends it is really really easy you can change the animation you can also change this side uh, column over here for example let me show you when you uh, hover here you get this thing you can increase or decrease all these uh, columns all this gapping all this thing over here so it is that simple changing an image changing anything over here so creating a website like this is really really easy and basically most of you guys might know how easy to create the website with tv theme and this is the same exact thing we have the same module we have the same uh, same basically the same structure okay now let's see a different post how a different post would look like okay so this is the second post a guide to spices now let's scroll down this is obviously the featured image first section as you can see counter then there is an image a full width image then we have some text over here a read a call to action button again a full width image okay then we have some text over here this bar counter over here okay full width image then some text over here number three and there is a circle counter over here okay so basically you can see i don't have to explain you this you can see and make out that this is so gorgeous so awesome okay now let's see the third post okay so this is the third post this is a video post actually and this is actually a video okay so when you click on this the video plays then this is the section as you can see a very beautiful section uh, the image both the image are overlapping each other and i'll show you how to do that it is really easy okay 
then there is an audio over here an audio file and then again we have some text over here then there is a full width image in the background and we have some text over here i'll show you how to do this obviously then again a full width image over here okay and then some text over here we also have a slider so you know this is really crazy you can use a slider in a blog this is really crazy man okay so we have a slider inside a blog we have counters inside the blog we have full width images inside the blog this is just awesome okay now let's scroll down you can see all these beautiful things over here so basically you get the idea what i'm trying to say this is an amazing super awesome thing okay so now let's start making this uh, website start making this blog okay so i hope you guys like this demo video make sure you give a thumbs up to this video so let's get started to create any kind of website, whether it be a blog website, a simple business website, an e-commerce website, a social networking website, whatever it is, we need two basic things. One is a domain name and second is a hosting plan. Okay. So basically a domain name is just the name of the website. For example, nayashake.com, blogtube.com, google.com, youtube.com. These are domain names. And what are these hosting plans or web host? So basically, if you see uh, YouTube, if you, you, you're seeing my video. So basically, this video is stored somewhere in some computer in the world. And, you know, whenever anyone wants to see my video, they can see the video anytime they want. Okay, so all these files, all these videos, all the images are actually saved somewhere in the world. So basically, that is what a web host is. You have to uh, save all your data, all your images to some computers, so to some hard disk that is 24 seven running. Okay. So basically that is what a domain and a hosting thing is. And that is a compulsory. You, you cannot proceed without that. And there are many different companies providing many different uh, uh, plans and many different features. Now let's see the company which I prefer. So go open a new tab and type in blog slash TMD. Okay. It's blog slash TMD and press enter. When you do so, you will be redirected to this particular page. So let's scroll down. And here, as you can see, there are three different plans, summer cloud, rain cloud, storm cloud. And you might be thinking, why do I prefer TMD hosting? Because there are so many different companies. You know, there are so many different companies. Why do I prefer TMD? Let's see why I prefer that. See, basically, it is not the basic, the regular shared plan that you get with other companies. For example, there is a plan which you have purchased. But on that same plan, on that same hosting, there are many people using the same hosting. So you have a limitation. You cannot use more than 25% of the CPU. You cannot more use more than 25% of the processes. Okay, so that is a limitation. Here you don't have that kind of uh, limitation. Also the computer or the uh, the server that these guys are using is very strong. As you can see, six cores for six GB RAM and you get unlimited bandwidth. The most important, the most amazing thing is this SSD space. You know, you guys might know, if you don't know, you can go to Google and search for SSD versus HDD web hosting. And you will know the difference between the this uh, particular plan and the regular website. So let's select this first result. Let's see what it says. So as you can see, guys, the difference is just just mind boggling. As you can see, the first one is speed. So basically, the speed of your website will be around 20 times faster than the regular website or the regular hosting which you're purchasing. You know, all, uh, also this is IOPS. Basically, that is, uh, I think, uh, the refresh rate. Okay, so that is basically, see, it says higher is better. And you can see the difference. Uh, you can barely see this red bar and this green bar is so big. Latency, it says lower is better. Again, as you can see, it says 0 0.04 millisecond and it is 4 milliseconds. So there is a huge difference between all these things. You guys can do your own research and believe me, guys, this is the best thing. And at this particular price, you just cannot expect anything more than this. Okay. Then you also get a free domain. For example, nayashake.com was given to me as free domain by these guys when I purchased this Tom Cloud. Okay, you get a free do domain on all these three packages, whether you purchase a summer cloud, rain cloud, storm cloud, whatever. Okay, 
then you have premium support you have c panel optimum cash you also have a wild card ssl for example as you can see over here this is a green socket which says https this is the ssl certificate this is really important okay and this is wild card ssl it means you not only get one ssl but you get multiple SS ssls okay so suppose you want to make four different websites then you can uh, host host all the four website on this particular plan and you will get ssl certificate for all the four websites okay and whereas if you go uh, in the market to purchase an ssl certificate it will cost you around 30 to 40 dollars okay so that you are saving a hell lot of money over here okay then you have this jet pack uh, backup performance more than three times better than spam experts money back guarantee of 60 days so this is just amazing so you can select any uh, of this package i don't recommend the summer cloud because here you can host only one website whereas in rain cloud and storm cloud you can host unlimited website i am using the storm cloud so i'll go with storm cloud you can go with rain cloud also it's all up to you but i would uh, prefer going with storm cloud so just click on this sign up button now here you have to select the domain name which you want for free for example i can select any domain name like nayashake1 or 2 whatever dot com dot in you can select everything that from here and once you select your domain name just click on proceed and here you have to fill in your basic information okay contact information like your first name last name email address phone number and so on all this basic information okay then you have this payment information over your your credit card debit card details suppose you want to make payment through your credit card or your debit card then you can uh, enter all this information over here you can also pay through paypal you have this paypal option over here also okay then uh, here we have this domain registration you have to choose your uh, data center location from here so select the one which says nearest to you for me it says singapore is nearest to me, uh, me. and if you are living in at different place uh, you will see different thing over here so basically you have to select the one which says nearest to you okay fine then you have to select this period at present by default it is selected 12 months and even i prefer the 12 months plan so you, you can just go with 12 months and you don't need all these things okay so just untick this thing and don't make sure everything over here is unticked then a very important thing which says promo code so i have a very special promo code for you guys just type in nayar yt n a double y a r y t okay and click on this apply button basically it stands for nayar youtube okay and as you can see it says this promo code gives you seven percent of this purchase okay so basically you are getting seven percent discount on this particular purchase and seven percent my by the way is the highest discount that tmd uh, gives okay so you guys are lucky now just click on this or tick mark this i agree to the tmd hosting terms of services and click on this checkout button for you guys once you click on that checkout button you will receive a very important mail from tmd hosting this is the most important email address that you will receive from these guys okay because you have all the important information your name servers your server ip your hosting package your ftp username password everything all the important things over here so make sure you save all this information somewhere if you have more than one email address then you can just forward all uh, this particular mail to those email addresses okay do whatever you think is safe for you and just make sure you save all this information somewhere in your computer now what you have to do you see this control panel link over here click on that link or make sure you open that link in a new tab and basically that is nothing but your domain name slash cpanel so basically it is for me it is nayashake.com slash cpanel for you it will be your website.com slash cpanel okay now here from here uh, from this mail copy and paste your username and password over here okay just copy and paste your username and password over here and click and click on this login button okay guys so this is the c panel this is the beautiful c panel of tmd hosting this is your c panel now what you have to do you just have to scroll down uh, till you reach this section softraculous app installer section and the first option is wordpress just click on that wordpress now we have to install wordpress on our website okay so as you can see you have this option which says install now just click on that option 
okay from here you have to choose the domain name uh, it will be only one domain name your do domain name over here but because i am using this for a, a quite a long time and i have many different domain names so i'll use uh, my domain name from here okay it is extra.nayashik.com and just delete everything from here so make sure in directory thing is empty okay there is nothing in this over here okay and you can leave this thing for now the site name and site description we will be changing this later on you can change this thing now also okay for example when you come to my website as you can see the site name is extra theme blog tutorial okay so you can just name anything your site name okay a site description or a tagline okay then we have this admin username and password just don't leave this thing as it is okay make sure you change the username and password and select a very difficult uh, to guess very difficult to you know ran uh, anyone for anyone to guess a username okay so select a difficult one okay now you can select any username and password let me select mine okay now you have to change this email address okay change this email address and put in your email address the email address uh, to which you have access okay which you can access which you are using you receive email address from there you send mails okay so that particular email address so that you can uh, you know get all the important information related to your website on this particular mail okay now scroll down and click on this install button okay as you can see guys it just took around three to four seconds to install wordpress on our website and you have two different links over here one is the website link and second is the administrative url the backend or the dashboard link okay so just open this dashboard link in a new tab okay guys so as you can see this is the dashboard this is your dashboard this is how our dashboard looks like now let's see how our website looks like okay so just how here which is my blog and here you'll see this visit site option open this link in a new tab okay as you can see this is how your website looks like at present but don't worry we'll change everything over here and as you can see you also have this ssl certificate over here okay so this is just amazing now let's again come back to your website now it's time to install the theme okay the theme which will change the look of this website and it will make the uh, this like this a beautiful uh, website like this okay so for that we use a theme so what do you have to do again open a new tab type in blogdo.com slash dv10 okay it is divi1010 okay so basically this will give you 10 percent discount that's why i'm using the dv10 link okay here you have two different packages a yearly access and a lifetime access you know there are many themes for example the db theme the extra theme and there are many different themes uh, uh, in this particular package you can click on this link you will see all those things there are many different plugins also which you get so basically whether you purchase this plan or this plan you will get access to all the themes all the plugins premium support theme updates and so on okay this is a one-time fee you don't have to pay again okay this is the lifetime package fee this is the yearly access but don't worry many people think when you're purchasing the yearly access after one year your website will just shut down and you have to pay these guys some money then after that your website will be active that is not the case my friends what it says that after one year you won't receive update unless you purchase or renew your plan okay so basically if you're happy with your website you don't need any update then you can continue this thing as long as you can okay so that is awesome and you can use this particular theme on unlimited websites you have no restrictions whatsoever okay so you can select any one of these for example i'm, I'm i would recommend to go with lifetime access but yearly access is also fine it's all up to you just click on this sign up today button okay now you can select any username email address and so on and you can make the purchase and you can just download the extra theme from there okay i won't be doing that because i have already downloaded that so after you download that theme what you have to do just go go to this uh, appearances and click on this themes okay now click on this add new button from the top Now click on this upload theme button. Now choose file. 
okay now you have to select the uh, theme file from here so this is the theme file and click on open and click on install now so basically this will start installing your theme on the website and after that we can start creating and making changes on our website so by the time this theme is getting installed you guys can you uh, know just press that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything uh, in in future okay because i make really amazing websites and you can see my channel there are many different website e-commerce website i also have a multi-vendor website okay so you can see all those things that is just amazing okay so you can subscribe to my channel you can give a thumbs up to this video if you have any doubt you can comment in the video uh, in this comment section below okay Oh yes, so the theme is uh, successfully installed. Now it's time to activate the theme. Just click on this activate link over here. Okay, so our extra theme is successfully activated. Now what you have to do, you have to just delete all these things because we don't need these themes. Just select this, click on this delete button. Okay, delete all the themes because we don't need these themes obviously. okay fine now let's come back to our website refresh and let's see how our website looks like now oh yes as you can see this has started looking awesome okay so it is already looking awesome uh, we haven't even started the uh, creating the website but it still has uh, started looking awesome okay now what you have to do we have to convert this thing into something awesome like this okay so let's do that come back to this website to the dashboard and before proceeding further let me tell you one thing first uh, now i'll uh, divide the further section into two uh, different sections first i'll show you the basics of uh, making a post or creating a post then we'll see the advanced post for example the thing the post which you saw on the uh, demo tour was uh, were all the advanced posts you know where you s use different uh, animations where you use sliders where you use you know counter circle counter bar counter so that is all advanced thing first i'll show you basic things if you guys are using wordpress you basically are aware i know most of you guys will be aware with the basic thing so what you can do go to the uh, uh in the video description that there you will see next link which will say advanced thing so you can just click on that advanced and you can skip this basic section but if you want to watch this just continue okay so what you have to do first we have to to create some post so over here at the left hand side you will see this post option how are that and click on add new as you can see over here now first let's see how a post looks like okay so now let's open this post fun family fun with pasta pasta okay so this is how our post would look like now let's start creating this post this amazing beautiful post okay This is the basic section first as I told you at present at the top there is a title so here your title will come you can put in any title for example let's put the same title family fun or uh, with pasta fine and here you will put all the uh, content over here okay all the thing which you want to type which you want uh, to come under your blog okay for let's copy some dummy text from here you know let's copy this dummy text and paste it over here okay again paste it over here so now this is the basic thing okay so this is the title this is all the thing that will come over here and you have some options over here for example uh, if you select this thing uh, this particular portion okay and uh, if you want to make this heading 2 section you select from here and select heading 2 from here okay and we don't want all this thing heading to so what you can do we can select all these things from here and from here select paragraph okay now if you want to make anything bold italicized then you can just select that uh, that particular letter and make this bold italicized and so on you can also have these bullet points this is basically you know if you have used and you might have surely used microsoft word then th this is exactly the same thing okay you can center align left align uh, right align all these things for example now you have more options when you click on this uh, toggle toolbar you have more options this the first one is strike through so let's select this uh, letter this word and click on this strike through so you can see over here only uh, this uh, sentence this letter is striked okay now you have a horizontal line so let's put a horizontal line over here 
So just select this horizontal line and as you can see there is a horizontal line over here. You can also change the color text or uh, uh, change the font color and so on. So just select that font which you want to change color. Select this text color from your select red or whatever color you want. So you will see all these options over here. Okay, and you have some more options like uh, this uh, special characters, you know, when you click on this, you have some special characters, you can use these characters also. Okay, so it's all up to you. So this is the basic thing. You have the title over here, all this thing which you want to type would come over here. Now here is the category. So which category this belongs to, for example, let's put a category called famous. Okay. So this is this particular post belongs to the famous category. Okay, you have some tags. So basically what does tag do? For example, this, uh, uh, this post, a single post might talk about many different things. For example, it would talk about sports and it would talk about some player and whatever it is. Okay, so basically suppose you're uh, typing an SEO thing. I know, so basically it is type uh, talking about SEO. It is also related to website because SEO is related to websites. So you can have two or three different uh, tags for this. One would be SEO. Then you can put a comma to add more tag and second could be website. Okay, so it is also talking about SEO and also talking about website. Now click on add. So you have two different tags. Now what happens? Suppose someone wants to uh, read all the posts or want to see all the posts related to websites. So they can click on this website tag and they will see all the posts in which you have put this tag website tag. Okay, so this is also very important. Okay, then you have this sidebar location at present it is set to right. You can change this to no sidebar left sidebar whatever. Okay, you can make this post a featured post. You can hide the author box if you want. This is the author box. Let me show you. Okay, here it is. This is the author box near shake. So you can hide that. I don't know why would you do that, but you can do that. Obviously, you can hide the title and meta on post. Okay, so let's see the title. This is the title. You can hide this title if you want. Okay, hide post rating. If you saw at the bottom, that was some rating. Okay, you can hide this thing also. So basically, if you want to hide something, you can hide this thing. Then we have at the bottom, as you can see this thing. So let's see where you put this thing. Okay, here it is breakdown. Okay, so basically, if you say, uh, if you're talking about an SEO post, okay, then what you can, you can have some breakdowns or if you serve for, for example, let me give you a very clear example. I'm talking about extra theme. Okay, I'm writing about extra theme in this particular post. So what I can do, I can rate something, for example, the design of the theme. So if it, I, I can type in the title design of the theme, okay? And I can give you some rating, for example, 90%, okay? And I can add some more break, uh, breakdowns. Just click on this add bre breakdown button. And now I want, uh, you know, easy, how easy it is. So I can just type in easy or difficult and just type in some percentage for example 80 percent it is really easy okay then we have some uh what would what could be another thing um mobile friendly okay so one thing could also be mobile friendly how whether it is mobile friendly or not so again i can type in mobile friendly and i can give you give this thing a something rating for example 70 percent okay so the, this basically this is what it is okay you can also have this review. For example, you can change the title review and you can also have a summary. Because, uh, let, let us put a review. This theme is just amazing. Fine. So you can have a review over here. Okay, so this is how it was. Now you have different formats. Uh, formats. At present, this is uh, the basic format, the standard format. You can have, you know, video format, audio format, which are basically not very much used. Okay, you use the standard format most of the time. Now let's see the featured image. If you see uh, at the top, this is the featured image and all these things, the uh, the thumbnail which you see over here, these are all the featured images. Okay, so this is what the featured image is and all the images which I have used in this particular website, I have given that on my website blog com. I have given a link to that page in the video description below. You can check out that link. You can download all these images uh, which I have used over here and you can use that freely without any restrictions. Okay. Now let's add a featured image. So just click on this set featured image, select files. Okay, let's select any image. For example, 
let's see let's select this one okay this one now click on open now click on set featured image now once you are done with all the thing you just have to click on this publish button so basically this would publish your post now your post would be live and anyone who visits your website could see this post now let's see how this post looks like okay so just you have this view post option open this link in a new tab okay so this is how your post would look like as you can see over here you have this title over here this is the author date category and you know all these different things over here you have this featured image over here you have the rating 60 years uh, uh, the average rating is 60 uh, percent okay then you have this thing which we typed everything over here this is the thing this is striked out this is changed color this is heading to and as you can see this is bold and italicized okay now let's scroll down you have all these ratings over here okay design 90 percent easy 80 percent mobile friendly 70 percent okay and you have the featured image over here so basically this is how you create a post uh, now let's see uh, how to ch make changes in the author how to add different authors and how to make changes in the author for example if you see at the bottom your name is there but there is nothing over here whereas if you see my website over here the demo website you have a very short description you have social links and so on so let's add that so come back to your dashboard and at the left hand side you will see this users option just click on users okay as you can see guys at present we have only one user that is you you know basically your email address your role as administrator so first add some descriptions some social icons to yourself and then we can see how to add different other authors okay so just click on this edit button okay you can change this uh, color for example coffee you know uh, ectoplasm whatever it is so you can see this color changes sunrise and so on i'll keep this thing to default you can change this thing according to your uh, if you want okay now coming down you have your first name your last name basic things okay so nayo shake okay you can choose in your nickname okay display name publicly as nayo shake or whatever it is okay then you have your email address your website so my website is blogtoot.com your facebook url my facebook url is facebook.com slash shake okay dot com actually it is okay my twitter id is also twitter.com slash shake or real nayo sorry it is twitter.com slash real nayo so whatever it is you can put in your url so your facebook uh, twitter google plus whatever you want okay now you can choose your profile picture from here you have to change your gravata you can see that how to change that and here you have to uh, type something about yourself for example let's come over here in this uh, demo website you'll see okay very sh short description about yourself for example a professional blogger youtuber freelancer whatever it is okay so just type in anything about yourself you can generate your new password but we are happy with our own password so just click on this update profile okay now let's refresh this page this post and see whether the changes have taken place or not scroll down and as you can see we have the gravatar we have our name we have this uh, description we have both our icons over here now let's add a new user so as you can see under user you get this option add new just click on this add new okay now choose any username for example let me select nayers777 okay email address nayers777 at gmail.com first name nayers you know not let's change the name okay so that we can have two different uh usernames okay and here it can be google.com you can put in any website obviously okay you can uh, show uh, set password by yourself if you want okay so let's set a password over here okay so when you tick mark this thing send the new user an email about their account so basically the person who owns this particular email address will receive all this information their username first name last name their password and so on okay and here you can select their role so make sure you select author okay basically the one uh, who are who is the author will only have the rights to 
no write a new post you can type a new post okay so he can do that thing for you okay rest anything he can't do for you okay for example if you if you think he, he cannot make any changes to the website through the design of the website you cannot create any page you cannot create any category or so on he just have the authority to type in new posts for you okay and if you select him as administrator then he has the same rights that you have he can delete you as an admin as an administrator so that is dangerous make sure it is author and click on add new user okay okay now you have successfully added that person that person will receive that email address and he can log in and he can create a website a blog just like you created okay so we have seen the basic things about blog how to do all these things now let's start making the real blog okay the advanced thing the real blog which uh, i mean like this you know a blog which has all these beautiful things so let's make this exact same blog okay so again come back to this website how our blogs our post and click on add new post now let's copy this title paste in this title over here okay fine select any category so let's select the famous category scroll down okay select a featured image let's select which uh, this is the one so select this featured image click on upload files select files here it is select it click on open now click on this set featured image Okay, so we have our featured image over here you can add title and reviews as i showed you earlier okay now just click on this publish now click on this use the db builder button okay now click on use visual builder okay okay guys so we are on the visual builder okay as you can see so this is how it would look like now now let's see what we have to add we have to add this text first so let's copy and come over here so uh, first uh, let's delete this and let me show you from the beginning okay to add anything uh, first okay fine uh, we, we will have to add these things okay now suppose you want to add text over here this is some simple text so you want to add text so you search for text over here so there is some module called text so just select that paste in or type in the text which you want okay and you can see you can drag this thing over here uh, anywhere you want and you can see the changes over here okay so we have the text over here but it is center aligned as you can see so let's make this center aligned just click on this and you can there are also other ways to make this center aligned and if you see the font is quite bigger and it is black here it is the font color is black uh, gray and here in the demo website it is black and it is uh, a little bigger okay so let's do that so click on this design section now go to this text da uh, text color is dark dark basically means uh, black and when you select light the text color will turn into white okay text orientation you can select center from here also okay now font size now let's select 18 over here so as you can see it changes and you can also change the font for example bitter font uh, arvo there are many different fonts as you can see over here okay so you can select any font let's make this thing that only and now let's change the text color okay so select this and make this black so as you can see now it is black color just a light okay a little bit lighter black okay so you can change all these things from here you can change the text size line height spacing and so on okay you can have a border but that is not uh, we have not used all those things over here okay this is it now click on this uh, okay button now as you can see there is some gap from both the sides so let's add that just hover here you will get this option now suppose we are selecting 60 pixels from here so also select 60, uh, 60 pixels from this side okay so whatever you are selecting from one side make sure you select the same from the other side also so let's make this 60 pixels okay fine so this is looking awesome beautiful okay and there is some gap at the top also so you can just add some gap from the top fine now let's add these two things over here we have two different sections over here now so for that just click on this plus button regular and select this thing two columns okay because we have two different columns with two different text 
now let's select this demo text from here and here again search for text okay select this one okay paste the text over here okay this is how it looks like now again let's make this black and let's do all these changes go to text dark color obviously orientation justified make this justified that would look much better yeah you can increase or decrease the size of the font let's make it 15 pixels or maybe 16 pixels fine so 16 pixel looks uh, good now let's make this black okay okay so this is black in, and you can light uh, or make it dark from here okay this looks fine now let's click on this sign ok button save change changes and now there is again a beautiful feature in uh, this particular db builder you can say or visual builder by this elegant theme you just you can just copy this thing and just drag this thing over here okay so you don't have to type and do all the things again you just have to just copy uh, the uh, and paste it over here or drag this thing over here now as you can see there is a lot of gap uh, in between so what you can do you can decrease this gap okay and you can decrease it more from here okay so this is an amazing thing and after you do so make sure you keep on save uh, saving changes there are two uh, type uh, there are two different ways of uh, you know saving changes first is to click on this button okay and here you'll get this save option so just click on that and second is just to uh, control uh, just to press the control button and s button together so control s would save this page fine now let's see what comes next so this is the next section as you can see there are two different images they are all uh, both are sticking to each other but they are not overlapping okay so let's see how to make that for that just add a new row from here okay click on this click select regular two different columns now the first one is an image so select for image okay this is the one now click on this upload button and upload that image this is the one click on open upload an image okay as you can see here it is now as you can see this is not this is at the left but we want this at the right and that too at the extreme right okay so let's do those changes go to design spacing okay let's first make this alignment okay alignment is left make this as right okay but this is not still at the extreme right okay so what you can do go to spacing okay then right margin just put it as zero okay okay now click on this save changes button now how are you how are you you'll see this thing okay so click on this gear icon now this green type of color gear icon okay now go to design spacing okay then here you have different options for example column one custom padding so at the right put in zero okay so we don't want any padding at the right so right custom padding for the first column and for the second column left co uh, custom padding should be zero okay fine now go to this uh, sizing and you uh, make this thing yes use custom gutter width and at present it is set to three make this thing as zero fine this is the most important thing basically gutter is the space between different columns so we are saying we don't want any space between columns because here as you can see there is no space this is a different column this is a different column and there is just no space between uh, both these images okay that's why we are making a uh, custom gutter as zero now click on this save changes now select this add button and again search for image module select this image select the image you want upload files select files now this is the one we want click on open upload an image okay so as you can see it is already set to uh, left align by default but here if you see this is uh, just a little bit below this image okay so we'll uh, do some spacing setting over here so go to spacing under design and at the top uh, padding at the top margin put in 30 pixels okay so this will make bring this thing down if you want to make it uh, more down then you can put in 60 pixels or 100 pixels whatever you like okay 
and after you are satisfied just click on this save changes so as you can see guys creating this kind of thing is so easy so simple okay now let's see the next section so this is the next section we have this beautiful title there is a separator and a subtitle then all these things uh, forward okay for that again click on this plus button regular single column and search for text because this is simple text just copy this text from here okay paste it over here or type in over here okay now go to design to make changes to this text okay select this text section alignment should be center okay font uh, you can change the font for this thing and make this thing a bigger for example 20 pixels or maybe more than that uh, let's make 25 uh, 25 looks fine and let's make this thing darker okay so you can change the text color from here you can make it any color red blue green whatever you want but we are using black color a little bit lighter black color okay so this is fine okay and as you can see this is also bold so just select this thing from here this bold section from here and this looks awesome now exactly like this okay now after this if you see there is a small divider over here so what you can do go to this text section again okay now click on this add media upload file and in that file which i uh, told you you i have given link to all these images and you will have this divider over here divider 2 click on open select okay so as you can see we have the divider over here let's put a enter button over here fine so as you can see the divider over here fine so this looks awesome click on save changes so we have the title separator and let's add this text now okay so again now click on this button this uh, add button because we want to add a new a new element or new module under this same uh, section okay under this same column so just click on this uh, gray add new module button and again search for text okay now paste in this text okay now again go to design to make changes let's increase the size to 18 pixels fine color should be black okay alignment will be center fine and uh, rest everything looks fine just click on save changes and as you can see uh, it has some gap from both the side or uh, some padding from left and right so let's do that how over here okay and just drag this thing a bit over here so uh, let's make this 100 pixels from both the sides it's all up to you you know i have not uh, written all these numbers anywhere i'm just creating the website and whatever i think looks beautiful i'm doing those say, settings so you can make this 90 pixels whatever you want i think 100 pixel looks fine so i am putting 100 pixels from both the sides okay now let's see so this is the next section we have at the left hand side an image and at the right hand side some text okay so again click on this plus button click on regular two different columns at the left hand side we have the image so select for image select this image upload image and let's select this is the one okay so click on upload file select files search for that image here it is click on open upload an image and you have the image over here click on save changes now click on this add new module button this plus button and click select text from here okay now let's copy this text and let me show you how to put all this color and so on okay now just paste it over here fine so you have this thing over here now as you can see this is quite bigger okay this font is quite bigger so what you can do and this is uh, just a little bit bigger so what you can do just select this font first okay and make this thing as heading 2 and select the top one and make this thing as heading 1 okay so this looks bigger but if you see in this website in the demo website this is more bigger than the heading one here as you can see we did heading one but it is still not that bigger and here it is just 
nice you know it is looking nice this size is fine so what you can do there is a very small and a very simple trick over here so instead of heading one let it be paragraph fine now go to this text section just click on this text over here and here you'll see this one written over here so before this one just type in p or what you can do just go to this visual section again select this and let's change the color first for example here you have this color fine so select this thing from here the font color and let's select this orange color fine now go to this text section and you can see this thing over here there is some code over here okay it says style is equal to color so and so now what you can do after this thing okay put in font dash size colon space and you can put any number for example 30 pixels okay and as you can see when we put 30 pixels the size increased but we want more bigger size so let's put 60 pixels okay so as you can see this size looks awesome this is now looking exactly like this so we want 60 pixels fine now everything looks fine we uh, all these fonts looks fine just click on save changes now and if you see uh, below this there is a small divider so let's add that divider also again come back over here click on this add button add new module button and search for divider okay here it is divider and here visibility it is by default don't show a divider select show divider go to design change the color okay some light color as you can see from here this looks cool click on save changes and now again if you see there is some gap at the top okay so at the top of this text there is some gap so what you can do select this click on this gear icon to make changes to this particular module now go to design spacing and at the top we want some spacing okay so what you can do at the top padding you can put 60 pixels or maybe 100 pixels or 150 pixels okay so we are putting 150 pixels and let's see okay this looks fine or maybe let's make this 200 pixels fine so this looks awesome now this looks exactly like a demo website okay now click on save changes and there is you know a little more gap over here as you can see here there is no such gap and here there is a lot of gap so let's decrease this simple as that just you know as you can see really simple thing fine so everything looks awesome click on save so that you don't miss any changes now let's see what you have next so again there is some text over here and um, here we have some image okay so let's add that what we can do you know there is a very more easy way for that you can copy this section paste it again and you can just have to change this simple text for example let me show you just copy click on this duplicate row button and as you can see this same row it has been duplicated now what you can do we want this time the image at the right hand side so drag this image put it over here fine as you can see the image has come to the right hand side now select this thing the text drag this thing and put it over here okay also the divider drag this thing put it over here okay okay fine okay so we have the divider and text over here we have the image over here now we have to change the text for example it is 0 2 so instead of 1 just type in 2 just like this okay so that is really awesome and copy this text from here and instead of this text paste in that particular text so as you can see guys this thing really makes your life so easy you know you don't have to create the same thing again and again and again and you know just easy thing now let's add uh, or let's change this image let's see which image we want we want this one so again come back over here click on this gear icon to change the image click on upload button select the image from here this is the one select click on open upload an image and as you can see all the changes have taken place now click on save changes now we have to add this section this one okay but first let's add some gap between this as you can see there is some uh, more we want some gap over here so let's add some gap fine this looks cool now let's again copy this same section okay so just click on this copy 
for what you can do you can just drag this section above that section okay fine so let's do that okay fine okay now we have this section over here so the duplicated section is now at the bottom now let's change this text over here as you can see here it says 3 macaroni okay fine just copy this text instead of this font just make it macaroni and instead of one just type in three fine really simple click on save okay now let's add this image again click uh, how over here click on this gear icon upload an image select the image you want fine this is the one click on open upload an image save changes everything is done just add some gap between uh, uh, below this fine this looks cool now now let's see the fourth section this is the fourth section as you can see this is a image and this text is coming actually at the image let me show you when we create you will understand better so now click on this add button regular no not regular full width image because this is a full width image okay so select full width image and full width image from here okay now select the image upload the image you know all the images are given to you okay select this is the one click on open fine click on upload an image here you have the image it's loading fine everything looks fine just click on save changes now let's add this text over here okay so what I'll do you know I'll first add a new section so just click on this uh, add new section regular fine select this 2x2 two two column okay now just cut this thing now what you can do you can just copy this uh, single this thing this uh, text we created just copy this fine so we have this thing over here now drag this thing over here so we don't have to create it again and just put it over here fine so we have this thing over here now as you can see this says 4 and I don't know what it is spaghetti whatever it is just type in that okay and this is 4 not 3 so just make these changes and as you can see uh, in the demo website this section is coming at the image so let's do those changes over here again click on this gear icon design spacing now just delete this uh, section top and instead of uh, this thing now we have to you know make this section a little uh, at the top so we have to bring this text uh, over this image okay so what we'll do you'll go to custom margin and at the top you'll uh, type in minus 100 pixels okay so as you can see this thing has moved up and it is actually on the image if you want to make it move more up you can increase the pixels for example 200 pixels now as you can see if you click on save changes this section is actually on the image as you can see this whole section is a image you know this purple section what you are seeing is the image section and this thing is actually on the image so this looks really awesome okay now let's see the next one so this is the next section which we have to do so again come back over here click on this uh, add new section button and let's see we have two different rows over here regular two different columns fine there is nothing it uh, over here it is plain and we have to add something over here okay on the second one so click on this add new module search for text okay not text exactly uh, we want this uh, call to action button okay so search for call to action this is the one title as you can see this is the title whatever it is just copy this paste it over here then we have the text this is the text okay here comes the text and button URL uh, button says read more so button text will be read more type in read more over here fine scroll down link you can type in the button URL over here and as you can see this is how it looks at present okay now go to design 
okay let's first remove this background color we don't want any background color so just remove this click on this settings button okay we don't want any background color so just make this no use background color no as you can see everything disappeared because uh, all our text is white but don't worry we'll fix this thing okay come to design and when you see there are many different options over here okay so what you have to do okay just leave it and click on save changes for now okay now select this section click on this gear icon okay now you have this background image okay background option select this scroll down this is background one okay and this is column background two now select this plus button and select this black color now as you can see we have a background color but let's make this a little bit transparent okay as you can see a little bit transparent and let's increase the blackness fine this looks fine now let's uh, click on this design button now and spacing and so on we'll see that later first let's add a background image as you can see over here then after that we'll see we'll see more changes for now just click on this save changes okay now select this thing this blue section for come selecting the whole section okay so click on this gear icon background and this is the image okay this is the background color and this is the background image so select this one click on this plus button let's see this is the image okay click on upload files select files now select that particular image let's search for that one where is it okay do we have it or not i think we don't have that image fine i'll fix that you will see that image basically uh, uh, i'll fix this thing okay now let's select some other image for example for example let's select uh, this one fine let's select this image and click on open click on upload an image okay as you can see there is a background image now now click on save changes now what you have to do we have to remove all the gapping from here so just remove all this gapping you know you know it is really easy just remove all this gapping all this space all the space between this thing okay fine so this looks much better now what you have to do we have to select this gear icon to make changes to this uh, particular section okay now first let's uh, ch change all this text and so on for example over here as you can see the text is quite beautiful here it looks quite terrible so select this design select text okay light color it is fine and this text orientation is left over here as you can see it is all left oriented fine now header text this is the text you are talking about now let's change the font to able okay now let's not make this bold so just deselect this one fine this looks beautiful now okay now what you can do just scroll down to the bottom and here we have this button option select this and make this yes use custom style for button okay and as you can see this button color is different over here now what you can do first decrease this button size from uh, 20 to maybe 16 okay 16 looks fine and let's change the button background color okay here it is something like red color so let's select this red color okay so this is how you change the uh, button background colors and so on now let's select this uh, spacing things okay because we need some space at the top bottom and all the sides over here so go to spacings and now select top padding maybe 100 okay now right side padding let's select 30 okay left also 30 fine and bottom again 100 fine so as you can see but still there is some gap over here okay we want we don't want this gap also at the uh, extreme right side so first let's delete this thing the right thing just delete it click on save changes okay now come to this thing uh, this section the interior section options click on this gear icon row settings design spacing okay and custom margin uh, at the right side put zero pixels and as you can see 
this thing has shifted over here and there is no gapping at all now okay now click on save changes so this is how you create this kind of sections you know it, it was quite complicated i do agree but if you know if you understand how to you know make changes how to create something that becomes really easy and really exciting as well you know you enjoy doing this you enjoy creating website after that okay now let's see the other section so this is the next section now let's start creating this thing before doing anything let's first save this section keep on saving the sections again and again so that you don't miss any saved changes okay now let's add this one so again click on this plus button to create or to add a new section now click on this regular okay as you can see at the top there is a title and a divider then we have some text fine click on this single column search for text okay paste in this text over here go to design text orientation center okay make this 25 pixels the size of the font and font color should be black okay and just minimize this fine now let's see what is written okay make this as bold also fine this looks exactly like this now now let's add this divider i have given this image okay so co come to content text and below this uh just uh type uh, just press enter to come to next line and click on add media and select this divider click on select okay you have this divider now click on save changes fine now let's add this uh, dem uh, dummy text fine click on this add button add module button again search for text paste in this text fine go to design text orientation should be center click on save changes now again we have some padding from both the sides and actually this is not uh, this is justified okay so again go to this uh, gear icon design text orientation make it as justified click on save changes okay now let's add some gap over here okay maybe 100 pixels from here and 100 pixels from here as well okay you can obviously increase and decrease uh, these pixels it's all up to you i am using 100 pixels you can use more or less now let's add some space from top so as you can see making this is really amazing you can see the changes actually in front of your eyes what changes uh, are you seeing basically in different kind of website you just have to put uh, some number at the background uh, at the back at the back end and you don't know what changes that will occur and here you can do everything you know visually so this is really amazing now let's add this thing this circle counter so again click on this add button regular and as you can see here we have three different uh, columns so select this three columns over here and search for circular circle counter this is the one the title over here is united states so type in united states over here number is 88 percentage okay so just type in 88 and here it is okay now go to design let's change this color to this red or your uh, orange whatever it is go to circle circle color make this thing as red fine okay wait 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 don't select this red just delete this this is not the one uh, actually go to content again and background okay background color so you have to ch change this thing bar background color okay select this red okay so this is the one which you have to change okay under content uh, background color bar background color so this is what you have to change just click on save changes okay now let's make this europe 100 percent india 68 percent so let's just copy this thing two times and drag this thing over here so that you don't have to create it again and again again drag this thing over here just uh, change this to europe 
and change this to India fine now let's change the percentage so just click on this gear icon and let's put this 99 percentage come over here select this gear icon make this as 70 percentage or whatever percentage you like okay fine click on save changes Control and S obviously now let's add this section some text over here fine so again click on this plus button I'll add a new section select regular single column search for text element obviously uh, and select this text now paste in any uh, dummy text over here okay like we have over here click on save changes and let's add some right side and left side padding okay maybe this time 150 pixels fine from both the sides fine so this looks cool and this is justified actually so just click on this gear icon design and text and orientation should be justified save changes fine now let's copy this thing again as you can see we have this thing through two times so just copy it again and now let's add these things okay so click on this plus button over here add to add a new module okay and go at the bottom and select this thing toggle okay now select the title for example here as you can see the title is whatever it is donic lorem ipsum and let's select this thing okay this is the interior content paste in over here and as you can see this is the interior content over here fine so just click on save changes again and now similarly you can create two three different so i'll just copy these things three times fine click on save changes Control s and you have this thing over here now do we have okay again we have this same thing again so what i'll do is i'll copy this thing and drag this thing at the bottom so that we don't have to create this thing again okay make this thing over here fine okay everything looks awesome super amazing okay now let's add some gap actually over here so just pr press this enter button okay as you can see we have some gap over here okay from here also you can add some gap so we have some gap now and this re uh, really looks awesome okay guys so this is how you create a blog in 2017 or 2018 or 2020 whatever year you're watching this thing okay so all those old style things are gone and the new style is this you know you don't have that simple as i showed you in the basic thing uh the when we are doing the basic thing if you watch that uh, if you if you are watching the complete tutorial you saw that basic thing where you had only few options like just to make that thing as bold just to add some basic uh things but here you have so many different options okay so we have successfully created our first blog make sure you save say, all these uh, settings okay fine now what you have to do now let's create the second one okay let's select this one a guide to spices fine now let's create this beautiful blog okay so again come back to your website and here you have this option which says new okay so hover that and select post so from here also you can add new post new pages and so on now let's see the title a title says a guide to spices so paste in this title a guide to spices okay select any category you can select multiple category for example for this it could be spices also it could be famous also click on add new category okay okay rest everything looks fine select a featured image for this okay this is the one okay upload files select files okay select a good featured image for this one let's select Okay, this is quite smaller actually okay this is the one let's select this one okay click on open now click on set featured image so you have our featured image over here click on publish 
Now click on this use the visual builder. Now click on use visual builder. Okay guys, so let's scroll down and see what we have to do. So here as you can see, we have to add some text over here. First, some bigger text and two smaller text or two regular text paragraphs. Okay, so again, click on this uh, add button from here. Okay, uh, we want a single column from here. So select a single column, click on this module, select text. Okay, paste in this text over here. Now let's see this is a uh, center aligned. So come over here, text, instead of left orientation, select center, fine. And let's increase this size of the text over here as you can see. So come over here, the text size, let's make it as 18 pixels, fine. And let's also change the color to black color, fine. Now click on save changes. Now let's add these things over here, this simple text, okay? So again, click on this plus button. Again, search for text module and select this one. Paste in the text, okay? Now here we don't have to do anything. Just make this thing as justified, okay? Okay, now what you have to do, just copy these things again and delete some lower portions from here fine so this looks awesome now let's add some padding from both the sides okay so just select over here drag this thing to 100 pixels or whatever you want i am selecting 100 pixels okay from both the sides fine so this is 100 pixels from both the sides now let's see what we have next we have this thing uh, actually, if you see uh, here, there should be one more, but we haven't added just to make it look beautiful. Okay, so there is three counter boxes and then an, uh, then a full width image. So click on this add button regular and select four columns. Okay. And select counter. Okay, so this is basically the number counter as you can see. Okay, so select number counter. Okay, there is a title which says lorem ipsum, so just type in lorem ipsum over here and in the number type in 223, fine. And in the element, just make this thing no, so because we don't want this percentage sign, fine. Okay, what you can do, you know, as you can see, this comes under the same uh, uh, padding section. So instead of adding a new section, uh, let's make this thing yes first, let's delete this section and let's add these counters under this sections only okay because we don't have to do this uh, padding setting again okay so now click instead of this uh, cl uh, nick, clicking on this blue plus button click on this green plus button okay now select four columns now select counter the circle counter uh, sorry the number counter lorem ipsum 223 and we don't want this uh, percentage element so make this say no okay now let's change the color from your design text okay title text color red orange whatever you want okay here the color uh, title text is actually black so let's select black okay and here the title is quite smaller the font is also different okay so let's select different font from here let's select uh, able okay so this looks fine and let's make this this is quite dark so let's make this thing a little lighter this looks good okay now let's change the font for this number so number text over here now let's decrease this size okay to maybe 65 okay 65 looks fine now also let's change this color okay to this color and make this thing a little bit lighter so that it looks nice click on save changes now instead of doing most of the settings what you can do you know just copy this thing two time drag this thing over here again drag this thing over here now we just have to change the title and the number we don't have to do all those color settings again and again okay so here let's see the title over here paste it over here fine again the title 
paste it over here okay now let's change this text 88 and 312 okay so select this button instead of 223 put in 88 and instead of 223 select 312 fine click on save changes so this looks amazing now let's add this image this is a full width image as you can see okay so click on this add button full width full width image select this image upload file select files okay where is it let's search for that one okay here it is as you can see click on open upload an image and as you can see we have this image over here click on save changes let's see let's come down now we have to add this section over here okay so come back over here click on this plus button regular single column select text okay uh, select this one and copy these things all these things over here paste it over here go to visuals fine now let's put some gap between all these things okay make this 01 as header 1 okay pumpkin seeds as header 2 and this all will be paragraph which is fine and also let's change this color of number 1 to orange okay and as you can see this is all center aligned so let's make all these things select everything and click on this center align button okay so this looks fine now click on save changes there is also a button over here so let's add this button click on this add new module button and select for button okay here it is button text it says read more so let's type in read more fine go to design to change all these things over here button use custom style yeah now button size should be 15 pixels okay just to make this thing smaller and as you can see the uh, color is orange color so background color you can change anything let's make it red okay and button text color at present here it is blue we'll change this to white okay so as you can see this looks fine now okay now let's make this thing at the center so button alignment center so this looks fine click on save changes now let's add some gap or uh, maybe a lot of gap from both the sides lot of padding left and right padding so just drag this thing make this 200 this time again from this side also 200 fine click on save changes so that you don't miss any changes over here now let's drag this section over here as you can see uh, between this image okay there is a white section here in the image so let's drag this thing over here that would really look nice okay so click on this gear icon design spacing and top margin let's put it on minus 150 okay as you can see this looks amazing it looks like you know this gap was uh, for this only and if you see this image section when you hover this image you can see um, the title and some of the text are actually on the image okay so that really looks nice click on save changes so that you don't miss any changes now let's see what is the next section so we have another full width image okay so again click on this plus button full width full width image and let's select this is the image so upload image upload files select files and this is the one click on open upload an image okay here we have now let's see what we have next then we have this thing okay now let's do these things now click on save changes click on add new section regular two columns but as you can see the left column is blank and we have everything at the right column so let's cut this thing we won't we don't want anything in the left column select this right column button click on add new module and at the top we have this text so search for text module select this one copy all the text okay come back over here paste it okay now let's see this is header 1 header 2 
and the color of this number is orange or whatever it is okay select this header one okay first let's add some gap between all these things okay now select this header one heading two okay and rest everything is fine now let's change this color to orange fine click on save changes okay now let's add these bar counters okay so click on this add new module search for bar counters this is the one okay now what you have to do click on this uh, add button to add first one the title here as you can see is lorem ipsum dollar select that percentage is 44 pixels 44 percentage okay fine now click on save changes again come back click uh, on now let's uh, click on this uh, add button again and here now this time it says QLED I don't know what it says okay 62 percentage just type in over there and let's see the third one okay now let's do all this uh, uh, designing changes now okay the first one is element we want to use percentage so make this thing yes okay now background so select this thing and this will change this background color over here okay now here we have the bar background color select this thing okay select red orange whatever color you want okay fine any color you want fine so this is the color now go to design text title text fine as you can see here the title text is bold so make this thing as bold also let's uh, increase the font size to 15 or maybe 14 15 looks quite bigger fine and here also as you can see the uh, size of this bar is quite bigger okay so let's do that go to this percentage text and increase the percentage font size to 15 or let's increase this to 18 now as you can see it is quite bigger now click on save changes so this is how you do all these changes okay now let's add this image again full width image so again click on this add new section full width full width image upload again click on select files okay now let's search for that image here it is click on open upload an image Just click on save changes okay now first let's do one thing as you can see this section is coming uh, on this particular image so let's do that click on this gear icon design spacing top margin minus 100 maybe okay minus 100 pixels looks fine click on save changes fine and let's see what we have after this image okay we have two different sections we have at the left hand side this text and at the right hand side we have this particular uh, progress bar okay so what i'll do i'll just copy this text from here so that i don't have to do this text again and again come back over here click on this add button regular two columns fine cut this thing because i have already copied it okay now drag this text to the bottom okay to the column which we have created drag this thing over here or over here whatever you want fine now what you have to do first let's change this settings as you can see when we copied we had this setting the top margin setting just delete this make this as default click on save changes let's bring this thing over here fine okay so this looks fine let's change just the text okay whatever it is three instead of two okay and instead of this select this chain and click on save changes again and again now let's add this circle uh, uh, circle counter click on this add module search for circle counter this is the one 
okay so it says lorem ipsum 78 percentage fine lorem ipsum 78 percentage background color we have bar background color you can select any color from here and click on save changes okay now let's see what we have we have another full width image so let's add that click on this add button add new section full width full width image upload upload files select files this is the one click on open click on upload an image fine click on save changes now let's see what we have after this we have another text over here so again i won't be doing that again what i'll do just copy this thing from here come over here add a new section okay regular two columns okay cut this thing and drag this thing which we copied over here okay over here and just make this four instead of three and what we have we have chilies okay spelling is wrong that's all right fine now let's add this image the oranges image click on this add new section regular okay not regular actually let's delete this first we have to add a full width image so click on this add new full width full width image upload upload files select files this is the orange image clear select that click on open upload an image fine click on save changes now again we have some text over here so again i won't do that again what i'll do first let's add a new section regular two different columns and instead of creating everything again what i'll do i'll just copy this from here drag this thing at the bottom and put it over here fine now five dried oranges fine so instead of four let's make it five instead of chilies let's make dried orange fine okay after this we have this we have seen how to add this thing in the earlier page so i won't i don't think there is any need to show that again now let's add this image the bottom image click on this add new button full width image okay upload image click on upload files select files okay now let's select for that image where is it this is the one click on open upload an image save changes so with this guys we have successfully created this post also and another amazing post now click on save changes okay now as you can see guys this is the post okay so what i'll do instead of creating everything again what i'll do i'll give you a layout in fact i have given a link in the video description below that there you'll find all the layouts for example the last two posts which we created you can find those layouts also so you don't have to create basically those uh, posts also i just showed you because i wanted you to know that this is how you create it okay now let me show you how to use a layout so what do you have to do go to this website your website okay and this uh, again how over here click on this add new post let's see the uh, title from your blogging for fashion let's add this title fine now you can create any different category for this fashion and you can select multiple categories okay now let's select a featured image as you can see in fact this is a featured video okay so i'll show you how to do that first let's select a featured image click on upload files select files okay so this is the one fashion blogger click on open select featured image okay now here instead of standard format select video okay 
and here put in the video url for example if you click on this this is linked to a video url for example go to my uh you uh, my youtube channel nayashake.com uh youtube.com slash nayashake and here you have so many different videos for example uh, i want to link that to this particular video woocommerce checkout settings okay so what i do i just right click over here copy link address come to this page and paste that link over here okay you can also upload an image fine and click on save or publish fine now what you have to do you you have this extra theme options over here and uh, when you hover that extra you have different options for example dv library and so on so what you have to do just click on this dv library okay now here you have import and export click on this import and export okay now select this import button choose file okay and on this uh, folder which you will download where you have all the images you also have a folder which says layout select that select the fashion post you will have three different layouts okay fashion post click on open click on import dv builder layout okay so it will import everything and it will import all the images as well for example it will not only import uh, the uh, format the design it will also import all the images which i have used over here okay so that is very important okay guys as you can see this is the post which we just created blogging for fashion okay now let me show you the another way for uh, importing uh, layouts okay so you can what you can do just click on this enable vision builder now scroll down here you'll see this uh, option over here okay now select this one the extreme right one this is the import export now select this import button click on choose file okay now go to your layout options okay now select that layout fashion post click on open click on import dv builder layout and it will import everything for you okay guys as you can see it has imported all the things which we needed as you can see uh, all the sections everything all the images the audio everything is imported now okay you have this slider also here now you can make any changes anywhere you want okay so we have seen how to create all these things you want to make any changes go to this gear icon and change everything okay so i have given you all the three layouts you can uh, with the, you don't have to create the layout one by one you can just use it okay fine so let's click on save changes so we are done with this uh, on how to create a blog now let's see how our website looks like so go to your website now let's look at the website okay now let's change the front end look let's see the demo website first okay here as you can see we have a slider then we have two different sections over here and so on and so forth okay so let's make our website just like this okay so for that come back to your dashboard okay and click on this pages how or uh, or what you can do you don't have to actually need you don't need to create any page okay now go to this uh, uh the main main website and at the top you'll see this option edit layout just open that link in a new tab the edit lay layout link okay from here select all the categories uh, you have okay now here this is the uh, layout which is automatically selected okay this is the layout now what you have to do the first one is featured post slider which is automatically there okay now click on insert module okay now here you will see this featured post slider option select that and if you want all the uh, categories uh, or if you want only spe uh, specific categories to be shown on this slider you can select that i want all the categories post limits number of posts to show okay display featured post only if you want to display only the featured post you can make this yes ignore displayed post if one post is displayed one time if you want to ignore that you can make this yes okay title characters 50 uh, characters here it is title characters if you want to limit that to 50 you can do that okay sorting method most recent okay fine okay rest everything looks fine just click on save and exit okay click on update come back to your website refresh and let's see whether the changes have taken place or not
Hey guys, so as you can see, we have the uh, slider over here. Okay, now as you can see, six different uh, posts or if you have less than six, then obviously we have only four. That's why it is showing only four posts over here. So we have the slider. Now let's delete this uh, thing and let's add this two things over here. Okay, so again, come back over here, delete this section, delete this section also. Now click on uh, this uh, add standard section. Okay, now click on two columns over here because as you can see here we have two different columns. Okay, now select the first column, click on insert module and select post from here. Okay, now select the category. For example, I want the famous category in this particular post. Fine post limit you can limit the post for example let's limit it to four number of post okay if you want to display only featured posts yes uh, you can do so all the same options are coming again and again okay so you can check these options and click on save and exit now select the second one insert module again posts okay now let's select another one uh, let's select the spices okay and let's select this uh, sorting order as ascending okay click on save changes okay now let's see what we have after that after that we have this thing okay uh, the carousel post carousel so again click on add standard section single section insert module and search for post carousel this is uh, here post carousel okay we want all the categories to be shown over here uh, post limit let's put this 8 okay and rest everything looks fine okay we don't have to do any changes click on save and exit now after that we have three different sections three different categories okay so again click on standard section three different columns select the first one select post and here select famous or any category you want click on save and exit select the second one again post select spices okay save and exit select the third one post okay now select the fashion click on save and exit okay so we are done with this also now let's see the last one this is the tab section okay again come over here click on add standard section okay single insert module and tabbed post this is the one okay now here you have to select different columns for example for in the first tab second tab third tab fourth tab so let's select the first tab let's add the first tab click on add new tab select the category so first we want the famous category okay click on save click on add a new tab now we want the spices category and click again new tab now we want the fashion category okay now you can uh, limit the number of posts and so on the same options are coming again you can see all these options click on save and exit okay now click on this update button come back to your website refresh and let's see the changes oh okay, guys as you can see all the changes have taken place okay we have uh, this two different section this is the famous category this is the spices category this is uh, the carousel over here okay this is three different section this is the tab section but if you notice we have the same color over here you now here it is blue all blue 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 but here we have different color uh, color for different sections so let's do that come back to your dashboard over here and go to categories okay that you will find under post so under post you will see categories go to categories okay select the first category famous click on edit and you can select any color for example here it is purple i want the purple click on update okay now back to categories now select the second one fashion and here it is uh, i think pink whatever that color is click on update so you can change different color for different categories okay now select the spices red click on update now again come back to your website refresh the page and now as you can see we have different color for different categories as you can see over here different color for all different categories here at present it is famous that's why we are seeing violet now when we click on spices 
the color changes so this really looks beautiful okay now let's change this header from here as you can see the head over here is very very big and here uh, on the website the header is quite smaller as you can see the menu is quite smaller here it is quite bigger and also we have to create the menu the mega menu like this we we have over here okay so let's do that again come back to your dashboard how our appearances you will see menus so click on menus now you can name this anything for example i am basically name main or main menu now click on create menu and make sure the primary menu is selected only then uh, this thing will come over here okay now first thing will always be uh, our home page so go to custom links copy your uh, website url paste in under the url and in the link text just type in home and now go to add to menu okay fine let's make this all capitalized fine now after that you can add different categories for example now let's select all these categories three categories okay now as i said you were uh, creating mega menu is very easy for example let's select the famous category and here we have different option okay extra mega menu option so first one says mega menu 3 featured okay so when you select this you this happens you know 3 featured post fine and now let's select the spices and now select mega menu 2 featured and recent list so when you select that it would look something like this 2 featured and recent list okay click on save menu come back to your website refresh your website and let's see whether the changes have taken place or not okay so we have our home and we have this famous and when we hover over that famous we have this mega menu when we have our spices we have the spices but we don't have the recent because there are uh, no there are no recent we have only two uh, particular post in the spices category that's why we cannot see that now let's change the size of this header the size of this menu okay so hover over here and click on this theme customizer okay now first go to site identity okay and here as i said you earlier when we were purchasing the tmd hosting that we can change the site title and tagline later on so you can change that from here for example your website name uh, it can be blog dude okay okay and tagline tagline can be for example best place for bloggers fine now we have this site icon over here this is basically the fab icon if you see the demo website at the top this small icon uh, if you follow my cursor this small icon that is the fab icon so come back over here go to click on this select image click on upload files and select a square uh, size a square shape image okay for example i have my image over here this is the one click on open select crop okay so here this is it shows you how it will look like and at the top you can see the changes have taken place already okay now click on uh, sorry don't click over here click on save and publish now come back go to header and navigation setting okay first one is header format setting at present it is left now you can put this logo over here in the center so for that just click on over here and as you can see the logo has come to the center if you like that you can have that also now the primary menu bar setting okay so menu height here is the menu height now let's decrease this menu height as you can see when i decrease everything changes so i am putting this as 680 80 over here now logo height you can increase or decrease this also okay it is at present 50 text size you can increase or decrease this text size from here fine then we have letter spacing and some different options okay now click on save and publish and when we scroll down as you can see this is uh, the of uh, the sticky header okay now we can also make some changes over here for example let's come back and fix navigation setting so basically this is uh, the basic navigation and when we scroll down this is a fixed navigation so you can change these settings over here you can make uh, this 
headers uh, this section quite smaller you can also decrease the text size because you know you don't want the same thing for both when the user is using the website he is scrolling down he should see a small header a small menu and when he is at the top he should see a big menu okay after you do so just click on save and publish now click on this x button okay so we have done that everything looks fine okay now let's do some changes over here at the sidebar as you can see over here we have a beautiful sidebar recent post with all the thumbnail this follow us uh, thing this twitter and so on everything we uh, we have over here so again come back to the dashboard how are appearances and under appearances you will see widgets click on that okay now accept search bar delete everything because we need the search bar the search bar is there at the top rest delete everything just click on over here delete click on over here delete and similarly for meta okay now let's see after search we have recent post okay so what you have to do you have to select extra recent post here it is extra recent post from here click on that and make sure main sidebar is selected now click on add widget okay so here you can add a title for example here the title is recent posts so we can add a title we can select how many posts to, uh, post to show five post or four post or three post whatever you want now click on save changes and after that we have follow us okay so again come back over here now you, here we have extra social network followers so select that make sure main sidebar is selected click on add widget okay now we have different for example here the first one is facebook so you can put in your facebook uh, url over here for example my facebook url is facebook.com slash shake or real nayar sorry okay so you can have this over here now after that uh, there is google api then you have youtube and so on so my youtube url is youtube.com slash shake okay we have Umeo and so many uh, different uh, actually websites you can select all those things I will select only two or three which I really use for example Twitter and uh, YouTube and those kind of things and Facebook okay now Twitter so my Twitter URL is twitter.com slash real fine okay everything is fine after that just click on save now the third one or the fourth one is this recent tweets okay so for that we have to go first let's minimize this click on over here it will minimize this now here you see extra recent tweets select that make sure main sidebar is selected click on add widget okay fine now we here we have to cre first cre create create uh, an app okay you will if you maximize this thing the social network followers and go under twitter you will see the link okay where is that twitter here it is here there is a link okay you click on this link this link will help you uh, to create uh, uh, your application that is very easy let me show you how to do that okay when you click on this link the first thing what you have to do go to apps.twitter.com so let's open this link in a new tab and make sure you are logged in okay as you can see I am already logged in now click on create new app okay now you can uh, name this app anything for example i can name this as blog dude okay you can put in some description let's add some dummy text come on you don't have any dummy text or what let's add this text okay Put in your website okay let's put this website over here okay and you don't have to do anything just tick mark this create click on create your twitter application okay your application has been created now what you have to do uh you okay wait wait a minute uh, here it is now click on over here keys and access tokens fine now click on generate consumer key and secret okay again click on generate consumer key and secret 
fine now you have all these things over here now what you have to do go to this section or uh, this widget section and paste in all this information for example let's minimize this okay here the first one is consumer key okay so here it is consumer key copy this thing from here paste it over here next is consumer secret this is the consumer secret copy this paste it over here access token okay so let's first okay here it is the access token now what you have to do under token actions click on create my access token okay so let's see okay here it is access token copy this paste over here access token secret access this is the one access token secret copy and paste it over here click on save okay once you do so you will create your recent tweets like this okay now let's add this authors again come to widget now let's delete this we don't need this okay now again minimize this go to extra and authors okay here it is extra authors main side by selected add widget okay click on save and after that we have recent reviews okay so extra recent reviews this is the one click on add widget you can type in any uh, you can give it any title for example recent reviews click on save and the last one is recent video okay so here it is recent videos click on add number of posts to show one and title recent video okay now click on save okay so everything looks fine let's refresh the website and see the changes okay guys as you can see everything is awesome now we have the uh, search bar we have the recent post we have our follow links we have this twitter over here you, as you can see all, all my recent tweets are showing over here we have our authors recent reviews and recent video okay so i think everything is fine everything is okay i, I think we have completed everything yeah we have completed everything guys so this is how you create an amazing and awesome blog or a news website or whatever you call it okay so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel also give a thumbs up to this video that would really help me and really help this video to spread also share this video with your friends on facebook twitter wherever you like it okay and hope to see you guys next time take care